And joining me right now with some of his tax tips is accountant Dan Geltrude. Dan, good to see you. Thanks very much for joining us. Obviously, we're coming off of uh, the dreadful 2020 year. Let us know what you believe are the most important things we need to be aware of this tax season. Well, the biggest question, Maria, that people have been asking me, do I file on April 15th or do I wait until May 17th? Isn't it great I get this extra time? Well, it depends. So if you are due a refund, you want to file your tax return as quickly as possible. So if you haven't filed yet, file today. However, if you're going to owe with your tax return, then you want to hold off and take that extra time because they're giving you a month. Take advantage of that. The other big question is people are saying, well, where's my refund? Well, the best advice here is to make sure that you file your tax return electronically. And with that refund, make sure it's going by direct deposit. The IRS is short on resources. You want to help them streamline the process to get your money as quickly as possible. Dan, is there anything we need to be aware of, given that we have been working from home? I mean, if you're working from home, are there tax implications there? There are also issues around the stimulus check. Uh, how do people maximize their stimulus check payments? Any tax-related issues to be aware of on those two issues? Sure. So, so many people working from home and they're automatically thinking, well, I'm going to take the home office deduction. Well, if you're a W-2 employee, there is no home office deduction. All those miscellaneous itemized deductions went away with the Trump administration's change. So don't be looking for that. It's not there. Now, the other thing related to stimulus, keep in mind that the IRS is basing your stimulus check based upon the last tax return that you filed. So if you made more money in 2020 than you did in 2019, you may want to hold off on filing that tax return in order to maximize your stimulus check. So that's another thing to keep in mind, a little exception related to should I file now or should I wait? You have to go through the calculation, see how it impacts your potential stimulus check. Yeah, Dan, there are also expectations. Taxes are going much higher. Joe Biden is going to be uh, announcing uh, up to $4 trillion in tax increases, not just on corporations, but also on individuals. We're going to get more details of that in the coming uh, two weeks, I'm being told. What is your take in terms of uh, making adjustments now ahead of 2022 potential much higher taxes? Uh, well, listen, I think the one thing that we should all be thinking about is taxes are going up in 2022. What does that mean to the extent that you can accelerate taxable income into 2021? You should do that. There is probably very little downside. We know the Biden administration is talking about those big, bad corporations and those rich people. Do not assume that you won't be included somewhere in this tax increase. So make sure you're thinking about accelerating income to the extent possible. Try to take advantage of the lower rates that we now see because the change is very likely. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's one reason I would expect this pretty good sell off in the stock market, because if you're going to see the capital gains tax go from 20 percent, 21 percent, all the way up to 40 percent, you'll probably want to be selling your portfolio in 2021 versus 2022 if you're going to get hit with that 40 uh, percent cap gains next year. Uh, so that's another issue to worry about and look at. Dan, it's great to get your advice this morning. Thanks very much. Thank you, Maria. Dan Geltrude joining us there. Stay with